Hello, welcome to lesson 62, Dynamic Type in C Sharp, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn what is this dynamic type. Okay, and it was introduced in C Sharp version 4 with the .NET version 4.5. And what does this dynamic type does? Uh, this dynamic type avoids the compile time checking. That is the major thing in the dynamic type. It avoids the compile time checking. Okay, a dynamic type escapes type checking at compile time. Instead, it revolves the type at the runtime. In the sense, it's not going to check the type of the variable what we create at the compile time. Instead of that, it revolves the type of that variable at the runtime itself. And that's what the specialty of the dynamic type. A dynamic type can be defined using the dynamic keyword. As you can observe, I'm having a variable called dynamic variable and before that I'm telling it this variable is of dynamic type using this keyword dynamic and the value assigned as 1 okay at the runtime uh, the type of this variable will be assigned since I'm assigned a number here and the at the runtime the type of this variable is of type integer okay but uh, the compiler compiles the dynamic type into object type in the most cases uh, the above statement would be compiled as this in the sense if you if I compile this in Visual Studio, then what it does is it will convert this dynamic type into object type at the runtime, and that's what the dynamic type is. And let me jump to the next slide. The dynamic variable changes its type based on the value. Okay, what is, what this piece of code tells you is here I've created a variable called dynamic variable, and the type of it is dynamic type, and the value is hundred. What I'm trying to show you here is. Uh, dynamic variable the value is 100 in the next step I'm assigning the value to hello world later true and date time current date time now okay and what I'm doing is I'm just printing that variable value as well as I'm getting the type of it okay let's jump into Visual Studio and we'll start coding on that okay let me initialize a variable which is of dynamic type the variable name is dynamic variable and the value I'll assign as of now is 100. Let me check the type of a dynamic variable. Okay. Um, the first is the value. Let me make use of the placeholders to place the values properly and later type. Okay. The dynamic variable and the dynamic variable and let me check the type of it okay when I press dot uh, it's not showing me the intelligence let me type it manually get type and let me convert into to string okay and now what shall I do is to this dynamic variable uh, let me assign a string now Micro technologies and let me copy and paste this part instead of typing and just to save the time control V okay uh, let me copy the entire thing okay here instead of string let me store some the boolean value like true and here instead of the string let me store some double value like hundred point two four five D okay this is the suffix we have to add and when I run this program you can observe what is the output I'm going to get I'm going to get the value as well as the type what the dynamic um, dynamic variable is going to return at the runtime not at the compile time keep in mind this is of the dynamic type okay the value is hundred and type of system dot in 32 and the value is um, Hank Pro Technologies type is system dot string true and type is system dot boolean hundred point two point four two five two five four and it's a system dot double type okay and that's what we expected and that's what we saw in this code and right now we'll jump into uh, Visual Studio and what are the key features of this dynamic type for example uh, if you assign the class object to the dynamic type then the compiler will not check for correct methods and property name of a dynamic type that holds the custom class object. Uh, to understand it very clearly, let me jump here and let me create, let me delete this part. Okay, uh, what that piece of code, what a piece of line tells you is, for example, let me create a class. Class. Uh, the employee class. Okay, 
let me rename it to rename my class to employee class okay I'm done with that let me create some fields public int id fine uh, public string okay I'm having two names and let me create a method which will print these names public void uh, limited name I call as print details okay console dot write line let me use this keyword this represents to this class dot id okay and console dot write line this keyword then I'll call that name okay, fine okay I'm having class called employee let me make it public too. control a control kd just to align the things properly and let me um, let me understand this sentence properly first okay if you assign the class object to the dynamic type then the compiler will not check for the correct methods and properties okay in the sense what I'm trying to do here is I'm having an employee class if I try to assign this employee class to the dynamic uh, object let us see what's going to happen okay dynamic the keyword is dynamic uh, variable is equal to if I assign the employee class to this object let us see what it's going to do okay L dynamic variable okay now what I'm going to do here is let me call the method which is let me try to call a method which is not present in this class like let me call it as a, a dummy method the method name itself is dummy okay now you can observe uh, this employee class is not having any method called dummy you can observe we have only one method print details but I'm able to invoke that method and the compiler uh, when I build this project okay at the compile time it's not showing to it's not showing any error instead of that it just show me showed me that the build got succeeded but when I run this program at the when I run this program at the runtime it's going to catch hold of it and what it's telling it's telling like uh, runtime binder dot exception and it does not contain the class employee does not contain a definition for dummy method and that's what we saw here and that's what the meaning of this sentence and that's what one of the key feature of dynamic type dynamic type will not check what method is present in the class which it is going to invoke at the compile time but it is going to catch hold of fit at the runtime that's what the meaning of this sentence is. and a method can have dynamic par type parameters so that it can accept any type of parameter at the runtime in the sense uh, to be very very clear uh, what I'll do I'll just uh, delete this class and delete these things also now what I'll do uh, let me create a method public void uh, method name itself is print and it's taking a dynamic parameter uh, its name is val value okay console dot write line print that value okay and now let me call that print okay I have to make this as a static method if I want to invoke in the static mind method okay now let me con th call that print okay here let me pass 100 okay now let me call the print method again and let me pass a string to it sorry for, sorry for that let me pass a string telling like ang pro technology or let me give it as training teachers Xamarin okay Xamarin cross platform mobile application mobile application development and this is oh, okay this is one of the big sentence what I'm typing here it's very large it's very long and let me print uh, some other thing like it can take a double value also too okay and now let me invoke this okay let me run this you can observe it's printing all the things which I passed to the print method and the parameter the uh, parameter uh, is of dynamic value okay 
and it's going to uh, return the type of it uh, whatever the value I pass at the runtime not at the compile time and that's what the meaning of this sentence method can have dynamic par type parameters so that it can accept any type parameter at a time and that's what we saw for each time when we are calling the print method we are passing different type of parameter for example here I passed the integer type your string and here is a double type but it, it does not show throw any error for us instead of that it just compiled successfully and at the runtime it printed the things what we passed to it okay that's what the specialty of this dynamic type and these are the key features what we saw in the dynamic type and finally uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel Angpro Training and at the last not but the least don't forget to give the feedback thank you for listening have a great day